draw this entire illustration in five step using Autodesk sketchbook hello friends welcome back hope you guys are doing well in today's Autodesk sketchbook tutorial we are going to draw this beautiful scenic beachside view and it totally scream of anime uh, intro or a anime inspired illustration of course you can make it as uh, aesthetic as you want but this looks like something straight out of ghibli movies but anyway it's like too much of expectation here without any further delay we are hopping on to step one that is to paint the sky of course the resolutions are 2080 into 2860 and once done with uh, our sketch we are moving here we are using linear fill option with a three color of course the entire layer be filled but that's not an issue here because we are just going to pick some uh, blue and then some lighter shade of blue that's it and then once we are done uh, adjusting to this we are going to move let the rest of the sky color uh, be on there because we anyway we are going to just add new layer for the sea and rest of illustration make sure the top bit is as it you want to be i have added three shades of blue one with the darker one with the little bit lighter and one with a very lighter shade so now moving on to we are painting some c here so we are going to have one tiny bit of darker shade at a distance and then teal blue or the crystal clear water in the forefront we are using fountain pen to add those color i just draw a straight line and then give a little bit curve fill along with a dark blue and then we are just using another lighter shade of blue here and then we'll be using blending brush to slowly blend it across because we all have to add few more object here but once we are done doing the sea at a distance we will add the rest of the sea along with the seashore because to give that twister clear and also imagine you taking a photo standing at a distance i think the distance one look much darker than the one which is closer to us so now we are into step three that is to paint the seashore where we will be adding the rest of the sea as well so to paint the seashore i'm using uh, the same fountain pen to add as the outline just a pick not the white but little bit lighter shade of what is our background actually looks like okay just give some curves here and there just uh, making sure that it looks like a seashore of course now it does not look like but once you're at the end of the illustration you can definitely now we are using fill bucket fill option to fill it and then we are using wash brush to actually smudge around but before that we are going to add new layer beneath this soil layer or we call it show layer and then add a multiple shade of color here i'm using teal to darker shade of blue to also a few more a ton of blue here and then we are going to slowly blend this using the blending brush from the artist column just make sure you give this little tiny tiny wavy structure in the sea so that it looks like like, like a sea at a distance of course uh, the seashore looks like a little bit raised in but we will make sure to adjust in the future bit but as of now just make sure you smudge the sea and then you just merge both the layer the show layer and the sea layer and slowly start smudging on the edge of the seashore so that it starts resembling as though the water is getting in the sea seashore rather than being stopped like a salt bed right i'm just uh, trying to blend it across and once we are done it still look like a little bit raised above but the, don't have to worry i'm just going to add few more shade of darker here because i felt like they need to be a little bit depth but then i realized it's of no use because the sea actually looks pleasant as of now so you just blend across using the blending brush once then we are moving on to my favorite your favorite everyone's favorite i think painting cloud is something which i fascinate in any illustration than anything else any element so that's my favorite Favorite bit let me know in the comment which is your favorite bit you ever listed is it the sky the sea the trees the houses or the cloud or moon or, or star yeah after cloud definitely for me it's going to be moon uh, it's up to your choice so let me know in the comment which elements you like to list it the most now that we have done adding or smudging across we are just going to move into the cloud layer for the cloud layer we are just going to use a fountain pen to add the lighter shade of the cloud and to add the highlight of the cloud so here we are using light tint of grayish color and then followed up by the white color as the highlight we are going to give some space in between and add one another fluffy cloud and then few more dot and then we are going to use a wash brush to slowly smudge it across 
if you look at the screen record here you can see i'm just going to blend it in a circular way from the outside to inside or either way across from inside to outside if you are going to add highlight or the shadow just make sure to blend the lower bit that is the shadow layer and then do the circular one along the highlight layer you just have to do slow smudges across also make sure to put the project according to your stylus mine is apple pencil first gen and it does not require a lot of a pressure in my pen if you're using stylus or if you're using some other pen or pencil just make sure you do it according to you i use a very light, light hand while blending this sky and the cloud also so now that i'm happy how the clouds looks like we are moving on to our easy bit which is to draw a bush to draw a bush again i'm going to add a new layer and then i'm just going to uh, dab i uh, use the fountain pen and add a lighter darker shade of green and then slowly uh, give it a, like an outline of the bush at a distance so for example that is a bush there and then the closer one has a little bit higher raise and then i'm going to use camo brush to add the highlight and the depth of the um, bush itself so now i'm picking up the dark lighter shade of green just dab it across the outer edge and also the inside make sure to give some space so that it looks like uh, at a distance there is a shadow for it okay don't put the camo brush all over the base layer just make sure to add a tiny hand here and there and then make it look like a fluffy flower or leaf at a distance once then we are just going to use wash brush to slowly blend it across also i'm going to add lighter shade of green and also a tint of yellow for the leaf so that it looks little bit more appealing for us and then we are going to slowly smudge across start from the last okay start smudging the lower bottom of the bush and then from the inside to outside don't touch too much to the outside let it be there like a leaf just make sure you smudge in the inside on the outside of the bush so that it looks like a little bit more of a leaf bush at a distance and once we are done we are going to add to the final bit of the illustration that is to draw a palm tree or coconut tree in this scenario and then hope you guys are enjoying the illustration so far comment down below which of the bit you have enjoyed till now so let's hop on to the final bit of illustration so for the final bit we are just going to use fountain pen to draw the tree uh, and then we are picking up a lighter shade of brown not the darkest one and then we are going to add a highlight by dapping it across then using the blending brush to slowly blend it across in if you are my existing subscriber thank you so much for following up my channel for the longest and if you are new here make sure to click the subscribe button also if you have not yet subscribed to our channel newsletter make sure to go ahead and subscribe because every saturday is a free newsletter from my inbox to yours it's absolutely divine for me to write it down pen my heart down and share it among you all who makes such a special impact in my life and also i do share well, one of my favorites week's favorite podcast book and course and also the reason behind why some illustration are done what is happening in my brain and also how to tackle the upcoming week hope you guys might be interested in all this thing i think if we are artistic person something we do in most common is procrastination which i do hope you may also be part of the procrastination guilt if so make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe in my newsletter i'll be sharing every saturday from my inbox to you it's absolute free and you can support this channel for that and on continuing here we have have added the rest of the leaf and then i'm using a uh, artist brush here and then we are slowly going to add few more darker shade and then we are going to use hair brush to slowly bring it across to give it look like a leaf of the tree and once then we are just going to use a flow airbrush to add the shadow and then we are going to copy and paste the rest for another tree and coming back to the newsletter we do have our weekly podcast every sunday if you have not listened to this week podcast podcast where I talk about the art of mindfulness it's an absolute insight for me because when i was preparing for that podcast i was writing out all the strategies all the benefits and how can i help you with that and how it has helped me it was an absolute insight like what really put together our life and what can happen if we just focus on today and not tomorrow or five years down the road just by doing the best for one day leads to so much of better improvement in the upcoming week or month or year so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are not yet because i do see 82.4 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel so please make sure to subscribe and be a part of the growing community and i'd love to have you all here 
and then we are at the very last bit we are just going to copy and paste and that's it hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration make sure to like share and subscribe comment down below which bit you love to illustrate and also make sure to connect in instagram because i am active there and i do respond to your messages there and till then have a great life enjoy yourself see you all tomorrow Bye bye